Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm coming to you guys with a, a video about Ford, and this is actually more just about companies in general. I posted a screenshot today of my Ford F-150 order that said that it's been sent to one of the plants for production and it should be out within a few days. That was 49 days ago, and that post I basically just said, hey Ford, what do you consider a few days? Because uh, I would think 49 days is uh, a bit more than a few. Now, before you guys comment down below, and I know there's a handful of you guys that'll say, hey, patience, uh, good things come to those that wait. This is a first world problem. Uh, you're just whining, yada, yada, yada. I, I get it. I understand. So to catch everybody up to speed, I actually placed my order on March 17th of 2021. And the normal lead time for trucks is about six to eight weeks. Now, my dealership basically said it, it would fall within that six to eight weeks, but I myself bumped it to eight to 12, just assuming that with the COVID delays and the microchip problems that eight to 12 is gonna be a little bit more realistic. And as of today, my projected date is 32 weeks. And I'm not even so mad about the 32 weeks as I am with no communication as to actually genuinely what's going on. This is more of me making a video because I feel on YouTube, there's an awful lot of automotive journalists that kind of rely on these brands for their content. So you don't get a lot of, I don't want to say honesty, because I do feel there's a lot of honesty out there, but it's more talking about the positive and not so much things like this, which are the negative. Now, to anybody who's going to comment also that, you know, while well, you should have bought a, a GM or you should have bought a Dodge or anything like that, I'm starting to feel like they're all kind of the same. And it's just kind of seems to be that's the new management style is lack of communication. It's the whole world gone crazy! Am I the only one around here gives a about the rules? Market zero! And I'm not sure how or why the art of communication seems to be lost, especially with these large organizations that have entire departments built around communication. There seems to be this thing where they assume that if they just say nothing, it'll go away. Michael, can I talk to you? Uh, uh. I would love to, but I am really busy. Rain check? What is he doing? Oh. Well? <sighs> well? Well, what? And I'm not even so mad about the 32 weeks as I am with no communication as to actually genuinely what's going on. I understand that things go wrong. I have no problem with uh, vehicles having mechanical issues, it's bound to happen. I have no problems with uh, delays in production, it's going to happen, no problems. Uh, but it just seems to be the way that things are going is that these companies are either unequipped or unwilling to address those problems when they come up. And it's not really all that difficult to communicate to people so that you can manage those expectations. And before I get any further in this video, if you've had any other issues with companies, drop it down in the comments down below. What are the worst companies you've dealt with in terms of lack of communication? Uh, I find this to be incredibly troubling, and I think it's something that we need to, as consumers, hold these companies accountable for. Now, I've seen in the comments down below of people saying, oh, these are first world problems, and uh, yeah, you're right. I live in the first world. This is all uh, my channel. I, I'm here in Phoenix. This is all pertinent stuff to uh, companies, and more importantly, how they market themselves. So I find these companies tend to market themselves with these big grandiose images. And if you're not gonna execute on that marketing, well, you have people like me kind of stepping back saying it's all a sham. So, you know, Ford has run with not just built Ford tough, just running down some of their even old slow me. Have you, have you driven a Ford lately? I can't seem to get the one that I ordered. There's a Ford in your future. Okay, where, when, what's going on? If you have for lately. Look again. I've actually considered canceling my current order and placing another one. A whole bunch of people are doing that. Well, it looks like an awful lot of resting is happening right now. Not updating people on things. So again, this is all just if you're going to market this way, you need to act that way. If you don't, well, then it's just exposed as thinly veiled marketing. Uh, another thing I want to point out is that in the last couple of weeks, Ford announced that they had a $1,000 incentive that they were going to apply retroactively to anybody who's ordered a truck. That's great, that's kind of a step in the right direction. Unfortunately, that only starts at April 1st through July something or other, I think it was uh, April 1st through July 6th. 
uh, gets $1,000 off for retail orders. There's people like me who have been waiting even longer who don't qualify for that incentive. So not sure what the play there was, but uh, I guess if you've waited long enough, they just assume they've got you anyways. They don't need to give you any incentive. But if you ordered recently, maybe you're going to be on the edge of cancel. The calculation and where they decided to, to start that date seemed kind of weird. It seemed to me like anybody who's had an order, if July 6th is a cutoff date, anybody who still has a vehicle outstanding that they have not delivered yet should probably qualify for that $1,000. Again, this just comes down to uh, communication. People are just geared in this day and age to have information. And if you don't provide it, you're going to lose business. It's that simple. And uh, I just hope that Ford can find a way to, in the very, very near future, come out with some sort of statement, press release that helps put things into perspective and um, humanize some of the issues that they're having.